Hey guys, do you think it's possible for me to embroider on these boots? Well, in today's episode, I'm gonna show you guys that magic does happen. All right, so as you can see, this product is kind of funky, you know, irregularly shaped, so, and the zipper is kind of low, so you don't have much room to get it flat and to open it up and float it over your hoop um, if you were gonna use that method. So you're gonna need some special tools in order to make it happen. Before we get into what tools we're gonna be using, let's quickly go over some of the best practices for embroidering on this type of material to begin with. But before we get started, I just wanna let you guys know that if you have any questions at all throughout the video, to leave a comment below and we'll get back to you with an answer. And I also wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed so far. If you are new to our channel, welcome. If you have not subscribed yet, then I highly recommend clicking on subscribe. You will not regret it. So first off, let's talk about the stabilizer that we're gonna be using. You can use either cutaway or tearaway stabilizer. Um, this type of boot is very thick, so you can go ahead and use a tearaway stabilizer and you'll have no issues there. If you wanna use your cutaway, if that's whatever you have on hand right now, then you can also use a cutaway because it's not going to be showing anyway. Next up, let's talk about the needle. That's probably one of the most important things. I highly recommend using an 80-12 sharp point needle for these type of projects. Why? Because first of all, this is like a denim type of material and on top of that, the boot is very thick. So in order to avoid needle breaks, you're gonna wanna use a, little, a needle that's just a little bit larger than your standard 7511 needle. Next up, let's talk about design choice. Uh, now obviously this is kind of like a denim material, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use a single color design. Um, solid satin stitches are really what's gonna pop out the most um, on these type of boots. Now, um, if you do have more details in your design, you can go ahead and use a water-soluble stabilizer on top just to make sure that those details are popping out really clear because we do have to keep in mind that this is a thick fabric so the stitches can tend to sink in a little bit. All right, guys, so if you haven't already guessed, what I am going to be using today are these machine embroidery clamps. If you have seen some of our other videos, you might have seen some videos of me using these clamps to embroider on irregularly shaped finished goods like clutches and sun hats. So in this video, these are gonna come through to embroider on these boots. So I'm just gonna quickly show you guys how you can hoop this and uh, make it happen. If you guys are interested, I do have another video out here um, on how to use these clamps in depth, exactly how they work, how you put them onto your machine. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and hoop it, and you guys, if you're interested, you can go ahead and check out the other video. I will link it. So first off, with my clamps, I just like to spray a little bit of temporary adhesive right on the backing. And then I'm going to place it right where the embroidery is gonna be. I'm just gonna make sure that it is getting in there really well. So this is obviously very easy. You just have to put it on and then now you can go ahead and start clamping. So I'm gonna bring the machine forward so I can get a good view of the hoop. So basically here, what you're limited by is uh, mostly your actual um, shoe or finished product. So you might not be able to, you know, hoop the whole thing, but that's okay as long as you make sure that you're hooping straight. Now we do have these little guides right here that help. That way you're not, you know, hooping off and bordering to one side and not the other. So I'm just gonna go ahead and align this with the guides. All right, so here we are. I'm just gonna press down on it so I don't lose um, my positioning. And then I'm just gonna press down on the lever and get it nice and tight in there. So now, one thing I do want you guys to be aware of is that when you're doing, you're tracing on your machine, you're gonna wanna make sure that the bottom of the boot is not um, crashing with the sewing arm um, or that you're not sewing over the other side of the boot. So you might need to go ahead and tape down or pin down some of the fabric, the excess fabric, just so that you're not um, embroidering over or so that your actual material doesn't move around and you lose registration. 
So I went ahead and pushed back some of the material using some pins just to make sure that we don't sew over the other side. I also um, traced to make sure that the sewing arm was not obstructing, so I had to do a little bit of adjusting to make sure that everything was fine. I do want to remind you guys and urge you guys to um, take this pre precautionary step because you don't want to risk um, losing registration and uh, messing up your nice, fashionable, pretty heel. Now, the reason why this particular heel is a little bit more difficult to work with is because it is a low heel, so it has a very small zipper. It doesn't open up very well, so you have a very limited space. Now, the ones that open up full well, those are, those are fine. You can use either a mighty hoop um, to hoop the thick garment and then just place it on there like a flat when you open it up, or you can use something like this and it will easily uh, sign in. But since Embroider Hub is about uh, challenges and showing you guys how we can overcome these challenges, then today that's the reason why we're choosing uh, such a difficult <laughs> shoe to embroider. But without further ado, let's go ahead and press start. Alright guys, so here is the finished product. Now this is a little bit more of a trickier garment to embroider. So when you do embroider boots, I recommend buying boots um, that are longer. That way you have uh, more uh, open space to work with. That's what's really going to allow you to get in there and to be able to go lower and to be able to go wider. Now if you're able to get a boot where you can get a lot of open space, then that way you can be able to even embroider across the front. Um, but this is just to show you guys the capabilities and just how far uh, you can get with clamps like this that really just make embroidering so much easier. Now I did have to hold it at some points because I was afraid that the boot would shift. Um, but other than that, everything looks good. I didn't sew through the other side, thank goodness. Um, and yeah, so just make sure that you are holding down your fabric um, and that it doesn't go through the other side and also make sure that you are using some large boots that have larger zippers. Coincidentally, those are the ones that are most requested anyway, so those are probably the ones you're gonna be working with. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button below and to subscribe to our channel. And I also wanna take the time to invite you guys to our Facebook group, Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery. In there, you will chat with me and thousands of other embroiderers. You can ask us any questions that you have or you can share any tips of your own. So go ahead, don't forget to join the group. I have uh, linked it below in the description. And one last thing before we go, I wanna encourage you guys to sign up for our newsletter because you will get our um, videos and different content mailed to you directly so you won't miss a thing. Alright guys, thank you again for watching. I'll see you back here next time. Bye!